Hi, hello, I'm Alejandro Pulido. I'm the easing product manager here at Valid. Valid is providing solutions for the eSIM ecosystem. We are providing servers, we are providing platforms, we are providing also applications, and of course, we are providing eSIM and LPAs. Today here, we are gonna talk about the LPA. The LPA is the entry point for the eSIM. The LPA provides the a user interface, graphical user interface, for the end user to manage the content of the eSIM and all the functionalities of the eSIM. The audience or device manufacturer may want to offer their customers the best way or the easiest way to access to all the functionalities of the eSIM. For an MNO, it's also important because the MNO can also offer to their customers different value-added services towards the eSIM. We can use that using the plugin eSIM provided by Valid and also the LPA that is able to manage the plugin eSIMs. Today, we are gonna demonstrate the LPA for Android. The LPA for Android is an application that resides in a device that is using the operating system Android. So it's an application inside the device. If we access the LPA application, we have three main options, Add Profile, Manage eSIM, and Settings. Let's add one eSIM. So for this, we click on Add Profile, and we get the, we have two options in order to scan the activation code provided by your operator. The first way is using the camera, and you will scan the activation code the other one is manually input the string of the activation code. Once we have input or scanned the activation code, we will be prompted with the subscription information that we are gonna download. We have the option of auto enabling the profile or not. In this case, we leave it like that. We download the profile, the profile is installed, and as we see here, the profile is in disabled state. Let's add a second profile because ValidSIM is able to host multiple profiles. So we repeat the same operation, we scan the activation code and we get the second profile. In this case, we will click in the auto enabling. After clicking OK, we see that the profile is downloaded and installed and enabled in, uh, in the eSIM. Now, if we click on each profile, we will be able to manage each subscription using the different options that are provided by the LPA. We can enable, we can disable, or we can delete. Let's disable one profile. When we disable one profile, we get a prompt. The user is prompt with a warning, because if this profile was enabled, it means that if we disable it, we will lose the connectivity. Once the profile is disabled, we can delete it. For delete it, we click again, we press delete profile and the profile will be deleted. Of course, another warning will be shown or displayed to the customer to warn the customer that uh, the profile is gonna be deleted. After the deletion of the first profile, we still have a second profile. Let's enable it by accessing of the information in the profile and clicking on enable profile. And let's leave the device with one profile installed and enabled. Additionally, the Valid LPA is providing a lot of other functionalities that we can access in setting directly in the uh, main screen. Some of these functionalities are, for example, the test mode. The test mode will allow any uh, device manufacturer to test the LPA and the eSIM with the test profiles that are also provided by Valid. Additionally, the LPA for Android can be also installed in other devices that are using the operating system uh, Android. One example of this is, for example, the new POS point of sale devices that are using or implementing the Android OS. Here we have also one POS device which is implementing the Android operating system with a valid SIM inside and the valid LPA and it's perfectly functional. And those are the main functionalities of Valid LPA. But of course, there is much more to tell. So please contact us for get further information and thanks a lot.